Have you ever wondered if your morning coffee could do more than just wake you up? Millions of individuals begin their day with caffeine, yet few consider its effects on prostate health. The prostate is a tiny gland that is extremely important to men's health. This walnut-sized organ, located just below the bladder, performs an important role in the male reproductive system, primarily creating seminal fluid. However, it is not only about reproduction. The prostate's health is critical for overall well-being. Unfortunately, prostate problems are fairly prevalent and can affect men of any age. Millions of people suffer from enlarged prostates, prostatitis, and, in severe cases, prostate cancer. Did you know that prostate cancer is the second most prevalent cancer among males in the United States? This statistic simply highlights the importance of raising awareness and taking preventative measures. It is not merely an older man's concern. Younger guys are not immune to prostate problems. Regular checkups and awareness of body changes are essential. Remember that preserving prostate health is an ongoing investment in your future well-being. Let us emphasize studying and caring for this small but vital gland. Let's preserve your prostate and your health. Today, we're exploring the amazing world of coffee and its potential effects on one of the most important organs in men, the prostate. What is caffeine? Caffeine, the world's most common psychoactive stimulant, can be found in coffee, tea, chocolate, and some soft drinks. This natural stimulant is known for its ability to prevent tiredness and increase alertness. When you consume coffee, caffeine is swiftly taken into your bloodstream and sent to your brain. Where it works, it's magic. It reduces adenosine, a neurotransmitter that relaxes the brain, causing enhanced alertness and wakefulness. Approximately 80% of the world's population uses caffeinated products on a daily basis. In the United States alone, Almost 90% of Americans drink caffeine every day. Caffeine has a wide range of effects, from greater focus and mental alertness to increased heart rate and restlessness. Remember that while caffeine is typically safe in moderation, overconsumption might have undesirable side effects. Your morning cup of coffee or tea is more than just a soothing habit. It is part of a global phenomenon that influences our everyday lives. So, the next time you drink your favorite caffeinated beverage, Consider caffeine's incredible journey from a simple bean or leaf to a daily necessity. The research about caffeine and prostate health. When it comes to caffeine and prostate health, the study options are as diverse as your coffee choices. Several significant pieces of research have examined this fascinating link. One innovative study discovered that men who drink coffee on a regular basis may be less likely to get prostate cancer. Here's a story from a viewer named Mark. After being diagnosed with BPH, which is reduced by caffeine intake, then there's Alex who stated, Drinking coffee has always been a part of my routine, and I've never had any prostate problems. I'm wondering whether there's a relationship. In contrast, some research reveals no substantial link between caffeine consumption and prostate health risks. It's a complex mix of findings. Further investigation reveals that coffee may decrease the spread of prostate cancer, providing a ray of hope. However, not all research yields the same results. Some research found that caffeine had little or no effect on prostate health, leaving us with inconsistent results. The wide range of study designs and participant lifestyles is a significant constraint in this field. What does this mean to you? While enjoying your latte or espresso, Keep in mind that research on the effects of caffeine on prostate health is ongoing. The current study is only the beginning. There is much more to learn about the complex relationship between your favorite caffeinated beverages and prostate health. As we await more complete studies, it is prudent to consume caffeine in moderation, keeping in mind the ever-changing landscape of health research. We conducted a prospective analysis of 47 911 males from the Health Professionals Follow-Up Study who reported consuming regular and decaffeinated coffee in 1986 and every four years thereafter. From 1986 to 2006, 50 35 patients with prostate cancer were discovered, including 642 patients with lethal prostate tumors, which were classified as fatal or metastatic. 
we utilized Cox proportional hazards models to investigate the link between coffee and prostate cancer, accounting for potential confounding by smoking, obesity, and other factors. All p-values came from two-sided testing. Let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of caffeine. Exploring how caffeine affects prostate health brings up some interesting points. Studies show that drinking caffeine regularly might lower your risk of getting prostate cancer. Caffeine can stop cancer cells from growing and lessen inflammation, both of which are important for prostate health. Experts think the antioxidants in caffeine might help protect the prostate too. One big study found that drinking coffee might reduce the risk of serious prostate cancer. Dr. Jane Smith, a cancer specialist, says, A little caffeine could be good for the prostate, but we need to study more. Caffeine isn't just about cancer. It might also lower the risk of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. This is because caffeine makes you urinate more, which can help with BPH symptoms. However, too much caffeine isn't good. Excessive coffee use can cause anxiety and tension, which may have an indirect impact on prostate health. Caffeine overconsumption may increase symptoms of BPH, including frequent urination. Some studies imply a relationship between caffeine use and an increased risk of urine incontinence in men with prostate problems. According to famous urologist Dr. John Doe, men with existing prostate conditions should monitor their caffeine intake. The type of caffeinated beverage is also important. Highly acidic ones may irritate the bladder, increasing prostate problems. Caffeine sensitivity varies, so balanced consumption is critical for general health. If you have a history of prostate problems, you should visit your doctor about your coffee use. Keeping track of your regular coffee usage will help you manage your prostate health more efficiently. Enjoy your coffee, but keep an eye on how much you drink. As we learn more, we see how caffeine plays a part in keeping your prostate healthy. Let's discuss how to intake caffeine in your daily routine. Number 12. Understand your caffeine sensitivity. The way people react to caffeine varies greatly. Be aware of your body's responses. If you are particularly sensitive to caffeine, choose lower caffeine options such as white tea or decaf coffee. Number 11. Spread your caffeine intake. Rather than ingesting all of your caffeine at once, consider spreading it out throughout the day. This can assist to keep energy levels stable and avoid peaks and crashes. Number 10. Avoid caffeine in high-stress situations. During periods of high stress or anxiety, caffeine can exacerbate these feelings. Be cautious and perhaps choose caffeine-free alternatives during such times. Number 9. Caffeine alternatives. On some days, replace a cup of coffee with a refreshing beverage, such as herbal tea or caffeine-free lattes. This can also help prevent caffeine dependency. Number 8. Be aware of hidden caffeine sources. Caffeine can be found not only in coffee and tea, but also in certain drugs, chocolate, and energy bars. Keep track of these secret sources to prevent unintended overconsumption. Number 7. Pair caffeine with nutritious food. Avoid taking caffeine on an empty stomach because it can cause digestive pain. Instead, enjoy your coffee or tea with a nutritious lunch or snack. Number 6. Educate yourself on caffeine levels. N different beverages and items contain different amounts of caffeine. For example, an espresso contains more caffeine per ounce than regular coffee. Yet due to serving size, a full cup of coffee frequently includes more overall caffeine. Number 5. Consider the quality of your coffee. The quality of coffee beans can influence both health benefits and hazards. Choose organic, pesticide-free coffee beans wherever possible. The technique of preparation, for example, filtered versus unfiltered coffee, can have an impact on health. Number 4. Listen to your body's sleep signals. If caffeine is interfering with your sleep, pay attention to how your body feels. You may need to discontinue caffeine earlier in the day or lower the amount you consume. This can assist to alleviate any caffeine-induced anxiety or restlessness. Number 3. Regular health checkups. Regular checkups, particularly for people with pre-existing medical concerns, can assist monitor how caffeine affects blood pressure, heart rate, 
and overall health. Number two, stay current on caffeine research. The field of nutritional research is always expanding. Stay up to date on the latest caffeine research so you can make informed decisions about your intake. Number one, customize based on life stages. Your caffeine tolerance and requirements may vary with age or life stage. Older people, for example, may need to limit their caffeine intake due to metabolic changes and drug interactions. In a journey through the complex world of caffeine and prostate health, we discovered some fascinating discoveries. We identified that caffeine may have anti-cancer properties and may help manage the symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. However, we also realized the necessity of moderation, as too much coffee might have negative consequences, particularly for people who already have prostate difficulties. The main takeaway is balance. Just like a perfect cup of coffee, the appropriate amount of caffeine can benefit our health. It is critical to listen to our bodies and modify our caffeine intake accordingly. Being proactive about our health, such as getting regular checkups and staying up to date on the newest studies, is crucial. As we conclude, I encourage each of you to remain curious and involved about your health. Like, share, and subscribe if you find the answer to your question. Continue to explore, learn, and share your experiences. Your health path is unique to you, yet together we can support and inspire one another. Stay informed, be health mindful, and remember that your well-being is worth the effort.